Have they come for us? Yes, they've come. They're waiting for you. Are you ready? Coco's always ready. But I move until I get some decent clothes. Now, I thought I made that perfectly clear. Gave you two hundred dollars for some clothes. Where'd you get these at Goodwill? Decent clothes is what you asked for, and decent clothes is what you got. I kind of like them myself. Yeah, you would. Listen, honey, I didn't come in here looking like no ragamuffin. I ain't never been cut on the streets looking this bad. Cut the mouth and just put the clothes on. Do you mind? got his thing to do, Sergeant. Well, I sure don't envy you boys at the Attorney General's office trying to look after this hot piece of cheese. Turning state's evidence in a Harlem racketeer don't lend a living very long, does it? Well, what the hell does? Christ, if you don't die of cancer or a heart attack, you go through the windshield of your car. Hmm. You get a mouth, for sure. Look, she's in here only for contempt of court. So she's got such a big mouth. How come she wasn't willing to testify against her boyfriend before now, huh? Like running half the rackets in Harlem, New York, trying to buy a piece of Reno, Nevada. It's two different things. She knows you guys are going to get them sooner or later, so why should she keep taking the rap for them? Can't see why some people want to stop a little honest enterprise just because it's black. The man's a racketeer. He doesn't exactly do everything legal, Lieutenant. The things they're trying to nail him for are not my idea of honest enterprise. So you never heard of racketeers in Nevada before now, huh? Besides, they can't prove anything on this kid. All he's doing is the same as groups who send in a white guy to buy a house for a black family in Beverly Hills. Now, what the hell's wrong with that? Well, if it was my neighborhood, I wouldn't like it. Is that all I have to sign? Don't get upset, Lieutenant. All you need now is the body. Your no body. Yeah. wouldn't take six to five for her chances of seeing the sun come up tomorrow.
year and a half without even committing a crime. after doing nothing but trying to protect somebody's rights to their freedom and privacy. Assuming, Lieutenant, the only time you spent in jail is when you were punching a clock. Move the car, Doug. Tea, Coco. Well, excuse me, Lieutenant. And if you want to get to that grand jury in the morning, I suggest again that you call me Ramsey. What's the matter, Lieutenant? You are a Lieutenant, aren't you? I was when I came in this morning. But if you keep on calling me Lieutenant, somebody might get the idea that we're not just a happy group of friends. And then maybe your boyfriend might know where to find us and decide to blow us all away. Now, I wouldn't like that, would you, Coco? We'll get you anything you need. You got that right, because that's the way my deal goes, right? I said we'll get you anything you need. Hey, tell me something, will you? What? What's that? This is Officer Douglas Fuller of the Carson City Police Department. Now, he'll make sure that you show up at the hearing tomorrow. And when we get to the hotel, you two will register as husband and wife. Oh, yeah? Well, that should take care of an immediate need. Well, well, does it talk or is it fully automated here? Very Doug, got nothing to say. It does talk. Congratulations, Ramsey. I see they've raised the standards on your civil service test. Look, Coco, it's going to be tough enough just trying to keep you alive. So your sarcasm, we don't need that. Oh, listen, Buster Grant, I agreed to turn state's evidence and testify to grand jury, but I didn't agree to be agreeable. Now, I don't like you or him or the rest of you wanks, but I want my one day's freedom for copping out. Now, you make this lady angry in any way, for any reason, and Buster Brown, you've blown it. Now, you've got that hot shot. Yeah, yeah, I got it. But there's something you better get straight. You're still our prisoner, and you're still under our protection, whether you like it or not. And if you don't want that pretty face of yours spluttered all over your shoulders, you'd better try to make the job easier for us. Have you got that hot shot? Ramsey. I need a thing in outside.
Come back to the game of life, cause the pop was a weasel. Strange, you smile like the child, you heard from all evil. Don't you hear the drum of play, pop goes a weasel. Is there anything else I can do for you, sir? No, that's it. All right, let's go, boy. I know what we'll do it. Hey, is this the biggest you could get? It's big enough for you, little lady. You're only going to be here one day. Well, in that case, I'm going to need a few things. Yeah? What kind of things? You know, little girl things. Hair stuff, nail stuff, perfume stuff, that kind of number. Okay, later. Now. Okay, later. I don't want it tomorrow, I want it now. All right, all right. Tell that yo-yo, I want some conversation. When Coco talks, everybody talks.
I'll be back in a while, Doug, and don't open the door to anybody but me. Lots of luck, Dougie Poo. Um, just look at this shit. I mean, I've seen better out on a used Kotex. All right, let's watch the light. You go fuck yourself, Buster Brown. I ain't in a joint now. I got me 24 free do as I please now. And that means I can do, say, be anything I want. And if you got 10 years, just plug them up and get off my case. Coke, let's get it straight. My job is to make sure you get to the hearing in the morning. Now, I could think of a lot of things that I'd rather do than play nursemaid to you. But as long as it has to be this way, we can make it easier on ourselves. You'll cooperate. Okay? Then we're the man of duty. I don't need your old protection. The Attorney General thinks so. The Attorney General? He don't know his ass from a hole in the ground. I'm hungry. Some vicious wasps, some escargot, asparagus with hollandaise, cream spinach, or oh, some mashed potatoes with butter. Lots and lots of butter. Chateaubriand, wine, some strawberry shortcake, two strawberry shortcakes, with tons of cream, and a milkshake. Where do you want me to send the body? <laughs> ha ha. Just order it. I'll eat it. Hey, my man, you're gonna have to do something about this confusion on the wall. I can't eat my strawberries with this damn in it. Save now one of them has to go. The strawberries would be easier. You're right. No, you're not right. Strawberries are steady, but this painting's a fuck up. You see, the basic difference between abstract, modern, and traditional art quality and time, not value. That's Percival Reed, London art critic, in his book, Understanding Art, published in 1963. You want the strawberries or not? Yes. Emphatically, yes. But that excuse for art lessons has got to go. See the cut of Medigliani. That would go just great with my strawberries. <laughs> Who knows? She might be right.
some of the things she wanted. Fingernail polish, eyebrow crap, that sort of thing. Well, my man, I didn't know you were hip to that sort of thing. <laughs> when you get to be my age, if you ain't learned it, you ain't gonna. No trouble? The only trouble is with her. Nothing, huh? What's she doing? Practicing for the Summer Olympics? Spring, all right. What the hell kind of cannon is that? Oh, hey, this is my old army gun. Handle with genuine rhino stuff. You like it? Our officers wouldn't permit anything unofficial like that. Well, I couldn't use it on the beat either. This gig is different. There's something I wanted to ask you, Ram. Uh... Well, don't sit there chewing it. Spit it out. This is an important job, right? Very. When that little broad spills what she knows to the grand jury, it's gonna blow the lid off half the rackets on the East Coast, especially Eddie. And him and a lot of other creeps will be leaving this country like a Sunday morning Christmas rush. Yeah, well, that's just it. I mean, if this job is so important, why'd you pick me? Because you're a good man. Oh, don't bullshit me, man. I mean, you got no black officers in the DA's office, so you come across town and you get one off the beat. But why me? I mean, why a patrolman instead of a detective with some experience? The captain said you had a good record. Anyone couldn't handle himself on a beat like yours. You mean in the ghetto? It's a tough place. Down there, you have to think for yourself, and that's what I want here. Don't worry about it, though, Doug. I checked you out all the way. You work hard. Ain't nothing glamorous about our work. It's simple duty. But you're like me. You know how to do it. You trying to tell me we're brothers, Rand? God, I don't give a damn whether you're black, green, orange, lemon, or banana. You've got a character. You're the one I wanted. Besides, you can run faster than me. You got that right, Buster Brown. Look at his shit. What? This is not right excuse for a dress. That's what. You want another one? Spare me, Ramsey. With your taste, you'll probably bring back some from a Sears catalog. I gotta check into the hotel. Thought you just went to do that. No, I had to, you know. Yeah, who is it? A room service, sir. Your order from the kitchen. Good afternoon, sir. And a very good afternoon to you, sir. <laughs> You can just leave here, okay? Well, I hope you enjoy it, sir. Well, he'd better, because he's certainly gonna have to eat it. Say what? Well, you didn't ask me if I liked it. Well, do you want it or not? No, I changed my mind. Would the lady care to uh, reorder? Yes, she would. You see, after a hot shower, one needs something light. Like a royal Caesar salad with a light wine. Zinfandel. After a hot shower? <laughs> oh, my God, girl. <laughs> Caesar's salad. Zinfandel. I mean, it's really not healthy, you know. What well, ain't healthy about it? Eating hot things after a hot shower it slows down the body process, makes your skin flabby. You see, the vital juices in animal spirits are directly affected by the amount of sustenance invested into the corporal body. Arrini discarded in his autobiography in 1630, published in 1938. He was a French philosopher, and he once said, anybody... All right, all right. I believe you. Get out of the struggle. Oh, right away, sir. <laughs> I'll see you later.
You know the trouble with most of us is we ignore our instincts. You take liver. If you don't like it, you shouldn't eat it. If you don't like spinach, you shouldn't stick it in your mouth and pay yourself a scoop for it. You'd probably choke on it. Take cigarettes, for instance. If you like tobacco, you should smoke it. Everything you want to do is not necessarily the best thing for you. Doctors say smoking causes cancer. Oh, doctors. You ever see a doctor this past 60? You tell a doctor you got health insurance and they get paid. You take out every fucking organ in your body. What's so funny, don't you believe me? That's just it. I do. I remember when I got it in Nam. Nam? Ah. Yeah, in Vietnam. We were on patrol in one of those dinky little villages. I don't remember the name of the place. I got stupid, stepped in a hole with a tiger trap in it. A bunch of bamboo spikes and it tore my leg off. By the time they got me back to the base hospital, this doctor thought gangrene had set in. He wanted to take my leg off. I told him if he touched my leg, I'd blow his head off. I'd rather die than be a cripple. Well, sounds stupid to me. I'd rather live myself. Forget it. I don't think you'd understand anyway. What to understand? So a soldier loses an arm or a leg or whatever. You ever think of what you people do to people when you bust them for a traffic ticket, possession of a little grass? You don't just take away an arm or a leg. You take away the whole freedom. And you wonder why people are always screaming, fucked up, pig. I think you've got your values a little mixed up. A soldier has no control over his destiny. The people you're talking about do. Freedom, just another word for love. Janis Joplin, Columbia Records, 1971. This ain't gonna get it. I wanted my day's freedom to have some time out. That's what was promised me. And that don't mean a mental jerk off between you and me. Okay, what do you want to do? I want to get out of here. I want you to take me back downstairs to that dress shop so I can buy something. I can't do that. Oh, not too worry. I won't be any trouble. I just want the fun of putting on a new dress. I got my orders. Fuck your orders. You're paranoid. Obey an order, someone's got your leg blown off. Hmm. I just want to feel like a woman again, and I won't be in any trouble. Now, why don't you just have a heart? Pigs don't have hearts, remember? And you creeps ain't got no honor, either. Now, I want all the stuff I could do and have and say what I please, remember? Within limits. Limits, my ass. It is the unwritten bylaws of the American cop-out creed. I only regret that I have but one cop-out to give for my country. Nathan Hale, 1776. And they hung his ass. I think you've got your quotes a little mixed up. Forty feet with that bull, Buster Brown. Will you stop calling me that? It'd save yourself a lot of trouble if you just let Coco have what they promised. Well, that's not the way I read the orders. What did they do, huh? What did they do? Take away your big machine when they say, shit, you stupid grunt! Get your clothes on. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, wow. Wow, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have a good time. And I'm gonna look so pretty. Oh, thank you, Mr. Policeman. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't thank me. Thank the tiger trap. And remember, no trouble, right? That'll be good. And another thing, no more philosophy, okay? Philosophy's just another word for discretion. John Sheldon, 1650. <laughs> and no more bad language. Your order from the kitchen. Voila! Caesar salad! Yes, but it's not spaghetti. But, madame, you ordered the Caesar salad, you see? With the Zinfandel wine. You made a mistake there. And I know just what you did. When I said spaghetti, you thought of Caesar, so you bought me a salad instead I... of pasta. But I forgive you. It's a natural mistake. 
Come on, Doug. But, sir! That's okay. I forgive you, too. Oh, you forgive me, too! Oh, that is wonderful that you forgive me! You are so true! Yeah. For twenty dollars do what? Is that all we got? Well, I'm just a hard working cop. This wasn't exactly on the agenda, you know. So I have to do. Okay. Hey, where you going? Just shot in. The fresh foot address is out here. Come on, Dougie. When Coco's got a horseshoe, everybody's got a horseshoe. Splitting ten. Can she do that? Mark of eighty, please. Eighty dollar markers. Can she do that? Bring it into you in the city. Okay, thanks. 
straight ahead. Say, would you please? Can I help you? Yeah, my uh, chick would like, I mean, my wife would like to, uh, uh, honey, you tell her. The nightclub. Surely, I have just the thing for you. Come with me. No leeway. Hey, how you doing, buddy? What's happening? Just get married? Uh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Can you believe it? I'm living with her for three years and we never wear a stitch of clothes. <laughs> and now we get married, she gets shy and she wants to wear night clothes, man. Can you dig that, brother, man? <laughs> it's kind of silly. Man. Oh, man, right on, brother. Hey, by the way, my name's Arthur Orwell. And I'm Chick Murray. <laughs> you can just call me Artie, buddy. My name's Doug, and uh, my wife's name Coco. Oh, Coco, I like that. Oh, that's nice. It looks beautiful on you. Thank you. I'll be back in just a minute. In the meantime, try this on. Okay. And finally decide to make it legal. And what the hell, if it doesn't work out, Reno's only 30 miles away, buddy. All right. <laughs> Are you staying in the hotel? Uh, yeah. Right on, that's two, that's two, ain't it? Hey, you like this? I knew that I don't look good in orange. Do you think he'll like this on me? No, that was right. We just got married. We lived together for three years. I didn't dig it. That's the only way he could handle it. Oh, it's really strange now. Now that it's legal, I'm getting so scared all of a sudden. Not to worry. It'll work itself out. I don't know. Now that we have that piece of paper, I'm getting so insecure around him. Just tromp around in your beaver, honey, and don't worry about it. You just get married, too? Yeah. Kind of. Coco, why don't we all have dinner together tonight? I, I don't know, really. Oh, please try. It'll be a lot of fun. It's not funny, no, alone. Sorry, honey. Yeah, thanks a lot. Well, uh, we'll see you later, okay? Oh, come on. Want to see you? Yeah. No, don't bother. Maybe we'll see you later. Uh-huh, I can do it. Same scene as our pet, man. <laughs> right on, brother. <laughs> You must know I'm going to shit, shower, and shampoo. Move. That little bird in your golden cage. That little bird. 
bird's got a mouth on her like a hawk. Well, take that care of her. She's a valuable piece of property. Jim, I ain't lost one in 18 years. And I don't intend to have anyone pluck her feathers. Well, stay with it. Yeah. Hey, I got a problem. Now you can get all of it. Who does this for you when I'm not around? It doesn't get done. How many showers have you taken today? Not enough. Oh, did you ever try to wash the stench of a prison off of you? A hundred baths wouldn't be enough. You seem to have had it pretty comfortable. Sure, they can buy you frills, but they can't buy freedom. It's like, it's like a disease eating at me. I had to get out of there just one day. He should have known that. He? Eddie. How did you get mixed up with him anyway? How does anybody get mixed up with anybody? It doesn't figure. You're hard outside, Coco. But I think you're soft on the inside. Why'd you prostitute yourself like that anyway? Oh, prostitute my ass. It was fun. Besides, it was good to me. Besides, how else would I get a chance to get the kind of things he could get me, you know? Clothes, jewelry, respect, too. Some respect. He's just a cheap hustler. Cheap? He was only the first black man to buy into Nevada. How many black men you know buy into the cream? That's why they want his ass. They want? We want him because he's a criminal who defied the state laws of Nevada. Black hasn't anything to do with it. That's the biggest bunch of horseshit I've ever heard. Boy, they got you so brainwashed, it's pitiful. They wash away everything except your blackness, but you sure damn well try hard enough. Coco, I don't think you're that stupid. You've got a lot to learn. Well, not your kind of lesson. Establishment bullshit. So yes, sir, Master Ramsey. Lift that barge, toast that bear. Yes, sir, shit. Your black loyalty is a bunch of bullshit. At least he took care of me when I was in the joint. If you're so loyal, why are you testifying? Because I...
What's wrong? What's right? Tell me what's right about it. shower again. It's her escape. What the hell's happening here? She wants me to take her downstairs to dinner. That's out. Yeah, well, tell her that. I can do that, too. She copped out on us. What? She copped out on us. She wants to go back to jail if she can't get what she wants. control a situation like that. What if they tried to hit her? Hell, I'll be there. Well, that's not enough, Ramsey. What if somebody... What's with you? You fall up with this broad? No! Look, I just don't want to see you get killed. All right. All right. We got the other choice. We'll take her back to jail. Either way, we've lost what we started out with. in a minute. Thank you. I'm going downstairs. I still don't like it, Ram. There's no other alternative. I want to check the place out and make sure there are no creeps around. Now, what time do you plan on taking her down? Half hour, right? Right, and then relax. My instinctive nose tells me there's nothing to worry about. Nobody knows she's here. See you later. What do 
little big. Oh, plain soda water. Indigestion's killing me. Got it right here. Looking people around? Nope. Who's he? Oh, he's probably in on the junker. Where? This one? in the world, and it's from Turkey. Hey, uh, Dougie, uh, did you smoke, man? No, no, I don't smoke. Well, whatever's fair. Hey, Coco, let's go dance, come on. I'd love to. Is that all right, though? No, I don't. Come on, Coco, let's go dance, man. Okay. <laughs>
I gotta get some new girls from where you show me. Huh? I gotta get some new girls from where you show me. Show me. possessive. We're only married to him, we don't own him. She makes me a little nervous running around like that. Hey, you gonna help me? Sure. What do you want me to do? I'm gonna get to a phone and page. I'll go to front desk. Hell, why don't you come up to my room and telephone him? Then you can have complete privacy if you want him to come up and see you. Yeah, that's good. Okay, come on. Come on. Hey, this one's the hot one. Come here. Oh, wow. Big Joe downstairs. I should have known something was going on. <laughs> what are you doing here? Hey, look, look. Have you been locked away for a year and a half? You think I'm not going to take advantage of a chance like this to see? <laughs> <laughs> chances you've been taking for me. Go through all that shit. Well, I can take a few chances for you to make sure you're all right. You are all right, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I'm all right now. Yeah. I just want to get out of the stinking joint and be back with you. Yeah, well, soon, baby, soon. You 
You know, I spent over a hundred grand trying to get the courts to get off their butts and try and make a decision on your appeal. And my people say it should be this much. Yeah, well, you tell them to hurry it up there. Yeah, well, I wish they'd hurry, too. I just can't stand that place. It messes with my mind. Not even be able to see you. Blaming you, hating you, loving you. Not being able to tell you what I'm thinking. See, now, baby, don't. Baby, please, don't do that. I'm hearing you. Just give me a chill, baby. Now, I had this brilliant idea to bullshit my way out of there. By letting them think that I was going to testify against you, boy, did they eat that up. I've been dining, dancing, new dress. Do you like it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> On the stage. <laughs> You're too much, you know that? There ain't nobody else for me but you. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I just wish I could have told you. I'm so glad you found me. You and those honeymooners. Oh, well, I was a little confused. But you know me, baby, I always like to check things out. Cover myself. Yeah, I know. I've been watching you. How? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good-looking company they got you traveling with. You mean Doug? You don't have to worry about him, eh? He's just a little boy scout doing his duty. You're the only man I know. <laughs> Yeah. Well, baby, this um, boy scout, has he been asking questions about me? You know, wanting to know about my business. Cops are always talking. They always want to know something. But I didn't tell him anything. You did? So, no. Why should I? Well, you know how tricky they can be. You know, maybe back up at the prison. Somebody, anybody, you know, asking questions about me or the things that you've seen me do since we've been together. I'm your woman. And I've been in that cell block for a year protecting you. Now I haven't. And I won't say anything. I know that. I know that. It's just that I was... It's just nothing. No. I need you. And you can so Yeah, I know. I know. I needed you too. But there ain't no time now. Hey, now look, you're gonna be missed, girl. And you know I don't like to rush those things. And they're gonna have everybody in the scout pack up here looking for you. If you don't hurry up and get back to your room. But you get... Yeah, yeah, page it, please. Ram, yeah, they're not even registered in a fucking hotel. I just called a desk and never heard of them. What about Arthur? You lost him. What? No, she's not here. Okay, I'm coming right back.
Excuse me, can I get my room through here? Sure. Thank you. Up, dog, you'll get reckless. Watch your ram. Get him, dog. You get him.
And I danced with him, son of a bitch. Did you catch them both? Arthur's out in the pool and she's... He's in the bathroom. Marie? Some dude in drag. Shit. Well, come on. The lid's coming off here. And I want to get her down to the police station in Carson City where she'll be safe. So the vacation's over and I'd left word at the desk for you to follow us there. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Come on.
Coco? Coco, I'm sorry. Turn, don't have to be forever. This one won't be. Especially if that car catches us. What? Oh, shit. Oh, Eddie must pay pretty well. These people never quit, do they? Can you lose them? Well, it's 30 miles to Carson City. Look, I'll drop you off around the next corner. Now, can you find some place to hide until I can bring help? Uh, yeah, I've got a friend that's got a boat at the marina. Slip 42, the Seagull. Got it. Hey, Ramsey, let me have your gun. I got an empty one. What if they catch me? You've got a hell of a lot more padding than we do. any boy scout around here. What? Oh, it pays to have a little trade. Okay, I started this mother. Let's see if you can drive her. Jamie's got a hot shower. I think it does, but if it doesn't, I know what we can do. I could have turned him in a million times. Why do you think I do it now? 
Maybe he didn't know that. He knew me. I never really knew him. You know, all those times in Harlem I've seen him in action. Cold, practical. I've seen him hurt people for far less than what he thought I was going to do. I thought he knew I was different. I was his woman. A businessman like him can't afford the luxury of sentiment. You're a nice man, Tuck. Just doing my job. Is that all I am to you? Your job. Do you want me to commit myself?
Don't turn around. Keep your back to me. Your other friend is floating out on the lake. What the hell are you talking about? I thought you were dead. How'd they miss you? Wrong boat. We were on the other one. This one didn't have a shower. How much, Ram? What'd you do it for? Forty? Fifty thousand? I don't know what you're talking about. You're never gonna get a chance to spend it. You got nothing on me, Doug. I'm betting my 18 years, clean years, against you. You were the only one that knew we were here. It's not true. I called the precinct, which is why they're responding. Headquarters isn't gonna believe you. You've got no proof, and they'll never believe the cunt. Why, you murdering bastard. Holy Coco. He's right. That's one thing about the letter of the law. You've got to have facts. That right, Ram? You got it right, kid. How oh, the son of a bitch knows we don't have any proof. Shoot him, Doug. Turn around, Ram. Slow. What do you think Eddie will do now? Would he go according to the letter of the law? What do you mean? You know Eddie, baby. What would he do if Ramsey crossed him? He'd have his ball for breakfast. my gun back, Ram. Here's the one you killed him with. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna make you a hero. Eighteen-year veteran slays mobsters. Wait till your employer reads that little gem. Now, wait a minute. Lieutenant Ramsey just killed a couple men in a gunfight. Find one below and the other one's out on the lake. He saved our lives. Lieutenant Ramsey's a damn good cop. Catching on a keyboard. The men I named. 